beautiful child in the world, come stand before your Father in heaven this day. Give unto me your whole heart and soul, your full attention, for I wish to speak with you one on one. I wish to fill you with my glory, my love, my peace, my presence. You are beautiful in my sight, my child. Thank you for all you are doing for my honor, praise and glory. I am your Father in heaven. My Holy Son has made a way for you to enter into paradise, to see my face through his blood, his sacrifice. You have been cleansed, you have been purified, made whole in my sight. You stand before me righteous, holy, without blemish. You have been transformed into the image and likeness of my Holy Son by the power of my Holy Spirit. Your chains have been broken, your mind set free. You saw with me in paradise, you see my face. I fall to my knees before my Father in heaven, so overwhelmed by his love, his voice, his words unto my soul at this time. He is all-consuming fire, he is radiant glory. No words could ever describe how magnificent he is. Yet, he is my friend, he is my father, he cares for me, he talks to me. Holy Father, Heavenly Lord and King, I come before you this day, giving you all the praise and all the honour and all the glory from my heart. Thank you for this day on the earth. Thank you for this precious day in creation. Thank you for life. I love being alive on the earth. I love breathing your fresh air. I love seeing your sunrise. I love the trees and the birds and the people and the landscape. I love the food, the warmth in the air. I love the birds singing. I love all of your little animals on the earth. Oh, how beautiful is this world that you have created. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for coming to rescue you, your children, to deliver us in peace from the battle that is before us each day. Thank you for your death and resurrection and ascension into heaven. Thank you for your invitation into paradise, into heaven. Thank you that we can all walk with you at life's end if we believe, if we receive your love, if we confess our sins and repent of our wicked ways and turn, if we love you with our whole heart, mind and soul, with all of our strength, if we follow your ways, if we bow our knee and confess that you are Lord to the glory of God our Father, then we can be saved. We can be born again. We can be set free from the chains which bind us. We can be delivered from all sin and temptation and addiction. You are the way and the truth and the life. You are our eternal life our hope. Thank you for this magnificent day in creation. Thank you for creating me, my Lord. I am so honoured to be with you this day, to be caught up into paradise, to hear your words so clearly, to see your face before me, to be able to release these words to the nations. Thank you for speaking to me so clearly, Lord. 
I pray for a multitude of salvations across the earth this day. I pray that eyes are opened, ears are opened, hearts are open to your love, to receive your love. Beautiful child, this is your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ speaking with you this day. I see your love, your devotion. Your heart is always turned towards me, my child, and I thank you. I thank you for your dedication, your devotion, your faithfulness. You give me a hundred percent of your time, my child, to releasing these words, to reaching the nations, and I thank you. I thank you for sharing my words with the people of the land. I thank you for reaching out to my children. I will help you, my child. I will help you reach the nations for me. Thank you, my two beloved daughters, my two messengers on the earth. Thank you for your dedication to my will. Thank you for all the time you have given me. No person will ever understand or know all you have done. To be able to release these words each day to the nations, the time spent to write my two million word book, the dedication, the patience, the endurance, to stand before me night and day, to listen to my words, to record my words to the nations. Line by precious line, page by precious page, day after day. No one will ever understand how much time this took. The spiritual battle that you both faced, the physical pain, But I know my child, I see all things, so do not worry, do not fret, my words will reach the ears of those who need to hear them. You have served me well, you have been faithful, and I love you, I love you unconditionally my children. Simply release my words each day. Do not look to the left or the right. I have placed you in a place of protection from the harmful words of man so that you are safe. I have surrounded you with good people, faithful people, people who believe, people who understand. There are so many in the world who do not understand my words, yet it is so clear before them Blessed children, you are my two women with the wind in their wings. You are witnessing on the earth for me. I have released my little scroll to you. It is in your hands, and you are releasing the little scroll upon the earth at this time. My Lord, my God, my King, I do not feel like anybody cares to read your words. I feel like we are releasing them in vain that nobody will listen, nobody will come. My child, this book is for the generations to come. Do not worry. All things are under my will and control. Remember you are living in a faithless generation. Sodom and Gomorrah, the hearts of man have grown cold, my child. Eyes are not upon me. Hearts are not turned towards me. Remember there is a generation arising. A generation that will hear my words, will hear my voice, will recognize my words, my truth, my Holy Spirit. And they will fall to their knees and the words will become living and active in their life and they will see miracles. And I will speak with them each day through my words. 
you have experienced this book firsthand. You know what it contains. You know how it manifests in your life for good. You know what these words can do, my child. How I speak with you one on one. How I answer the desires of your heart, your questions, your thoughts. This generation arising will understand and they will experience my words. The tangible presence of my reality. My living and active words in spirit being released unto the world. O oh Lord, give us strength to persevere. Give us strength to endure the days to come. Please help us not to look to the left or the right, but to stand steadfast, eyes focused only on you. My child, you will not falter. You will finish this task. You will release my 1260 words for the nations. A prophetic message for the world. You will finish the task, my children. Rejoice, be glad, be thankful, be happy, be gracious, my child to your fellow man, love unconditionally, bless others as I have blessed you, my child you dwell in the promised land, I have delivered you from every battle you ever faced, and you rest in paradise, in heaven on earth, I have fulfilled all of my promises in your life. And I promise my words will not return void. The words you are releasing now will be heard. These are my words. I am the witness. You are my vessels. You are my messengers pouring forth my golden oil. I love you, my child, and I am with you this day. I see myself standing before my Father in heaven. I see my Lord Jesus Christ and I feel the Holy Spirit within me. Blessed child, this day is for you. We want to bless you for you have spent your whole life taking care of others blessing others, serving us night and day, giving all of your time. We know how much you have done for the kingdom of heaven, my child. How night and day you desire to save souls, to see people born again, redeemed, sanctified, and you work tirelessly for the kingdom. And this is why we chose you, my child. Because we know your passion. We know your faithfulness. We know that you will not stop working for us on the earth. To see these words released to the nations, it is your only heart's desire. So that others will be saved. So that others will be free. You do not work for yourself. You work for the nations. You work for me, tirelessly. Nothing you do is about self, my child. It is all for others, for the benefit of others, for their sanctification, restoration, reconciliation with me. You are always thinking. You are always seeking to serve me. And we thank you. Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. But this day is for you. And we invite you to lay down in the glory and rest. We want to feel you full to overflowing. We want to restore you. Your physical flesh. We want to renew your mind. 
We want to place our spiritual energy within you and heal you and set you free from all things. I see a table before me. My child, go lie on the table. There is a pillow on the table. I lie down and rest my head on the pillow. I see a blanket placed upon me. I feel warm. Relax now, my child, breathe deeply. I feel so much peace in this moment, so much rest. Feel all the worries and stresses of your life falling away now, my child. Feel my peace. My Lord, I feel beautiful in your sight. I feel like I could lay here forever. I love being here with you, my Lord. I love seeing the heavenly realm. I love speaking with you and hearing your voice. Blessed child, think upon nothing at this moment. Just feel my presence burning deep within. Just feel my love. Think upon nothing but me. I feel your love burning within me on the earth, in my physical temple. I see myself smiling in heaven in spirit as I lie on the table. I feel so safe, cocooned in your love. Blessed child, when you rise from the table, you will be fully restored, fully awakened. From this day forward, I want you to walk in heaven whilst you remain on the earth. Your spirit will remain with me in paradise. Yes, you will still be on the earth, my child, but in your spiritual sight you will always be with me. You will always be aware that you exist in the heavenly realm. My Lord, thank you, thank you for this blessing. Why are you allowing such as this to happen? Why are you inviting me into your glory at this time? Blessed child, I need you to stand before me night and day. You witness for me on the earth. You hear my words. I need your full attention. Therefore, in spirit and in truth, you will remain with me. My spirit will fill you on the earth. You will be filled full to overflowing with my spirit. These are my words being released on the earth at this time by my spirit. I will be more in you than you are in you. Does that make sense, my child? My Holy Spirit is filling you full to overflowing at this time so that my golden oil can pour forth upon the nations. I need you to remain with me in spirit and in truth, my child, so that we can finish this task, so that we can complete the task that I have set before you, the task of releasing my prophetic words to the nations. Do not worry about who is listening, my child. I am opening ears to hear, eyes to see. I will draw mankind to myself. You simply need to be my vessel which pours forth the golden oil. You are my two women, my two women on the earth. I have given you the little scroll and I thank you for releasing it at this time. Now I am giving you the message. For 1260 days you will prophesy. I thank you. I thank you for each and every word you have delivered to the nation so far. But there is still a long way to go, my child. And the devil will do all he can to distract you, to wear you out, to burden you, to stop you from finishing the task. Therefore, from this day forward, you must remain with me in spirit and truth. You must look to the world no longer. 
You are caught up into paradise and it is here you will remain. You will not engage with the people on the earth. You stand before me. You listen only to my words. And you record these words for the nations. Thank you for all you are doing, my blessed children in the world. I am imparting peace upon you both now. I am putting a hedge of protection around you. You both stand before me in paradise night and day. Oh my Lord, thank you for this word unto our souls. Thank you for complete peace and rest. Thank you that we will finish this task. Thank you for gathering a team of people around us to help us release these words to the nations. Thank you that your words will go forth and not return void. Thank you that all over the world at this time people are hearing your voice and responding. That people are being born again, set free, saved. Thank you that there is an awakening across the earth at this time, a spiritual awakening. I see the Lord come over to the table where I am lying and he anoints my head with ash. He does the sign of a cross on my forehead with the ash. Blessed child, I am anointing you this day. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we anoint you and your sister in Christ as our witnesses in the world. Go forth and declare our words to the nations. Go forth and pour out our holy oil, the oil of heaven, the oil of the Holy Spirit, through our words, our living and active words. Go forth this day and preach unto the nations. Tell the world to repent of their sins for the day of judgment is coming. Tell the world to bow their knee and confess that I am their Lord. Tell the world that one day they will be judged for their sin and if they have not been cleansed through my holy blood they will be judged and they will be cast out of my presence. Tell the world that we exist, that heaven is real. I feel so slain in the spirit. I feel the anointing flowing through my body. Blessed children in the world, today you arise as my witnesses on the earth. I will open all the doors needing to be opened for these words to be released amongst the lands. I will do everything that is needing to be done. You simply need to stand before me night and day. I am commissioning you this day, this hour, to stand before me, to do nothing else. I will take care of all of your needs on the earth. You must trust me financially, emotionally, physically, mentally. I will give you the strength to carry on each day. Do nothing but gaze upon my glory. Worship, my children. Worship and be free. This is the word of the Lord your God, now and forever. Amen.